Do you find it really hard to break crowded defenses, move in tight spots and build up your attack? Well then, you're not using some specific basic mechanics enough in the game that will unlock your offense. In this video, we are going to give you 3 simple golden tips that will improve you instantly in the attack. Without further ado, let's roll. I am pretty certain that you are suffering from the positioning of your attackers. You want to pass the ball to a specific player in a certain direction, but either he is too far away or there is a defender right next to him who can potentially intercept the ball if you pass towards him. In that case, you need to reposition him and make him get closer to your passer. By pressing the R1 RB button, you can make a player come closer to your current passer. But which player actually? Here's the trick. Before you press the R1 RB button, make sure you are pointing out the direction of the intended player with your left analog stick so that once you use this mechanic, it will call the player from that direction. Here as I'm on the break, I see that my player is actually going to be offside in a second. So I point him out with the left stick, press the R1 button, patiently wait for him to get back to me and pass the ball once he's in a proper spot. That way I can continue my attack and score the goal. One very important tip about this mechanic is that you don't need to have the ball in your player's feet to be able to execute it. Let's say you pass the ball from one player to another and you want to prepare your next passing station. However, you feel like the player who is supposed to be the next passing station isn't in a good spot and should be closer to your current receiver. So in that case, you can execute this mechanic while the ball is traveling. Once it is on its way, make sure to take your current receiver as the center of your left analog stick, point out the player with it who you want to call closer and tap the R1 RB button. This will make him come closer to you and even before you receive the ball with the first player, you can prepare the second pass. Looks perfect. One of the most problematic situations that this mechanic solves is when the opposition defends heavily around their box. You might see that they defend the middle like a wall and you get the feeling that your attackers hide in behind the defensive line. So, it's mandatory that you use this mechanic. So in that case, you need to spot the attacker who can create a danger if he doesn't hide behind the defense. During your build-up, create a passing lane towards him and call him back using the R1 mechanic so that you make sure he makes his passing lane clear, receives the ball and scores the goal. Like mentioned, we see this problem very often. That is why we bring more detailed solutions to this in our application The Guide Plus and also in our individual coaching sessions where you can get a private coach to get yourself analyzed and become a better player. What if I told you that there is a perfect combination for it? With the Team of the Season bundle, you get 2 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching with your private coach, 6 months of the Guide Plus membership, and a unique training program which will help you to improve step-by-step -step in FIFA, where you can also save up to 33%. If you're interested, check the links down in the description and don't miss the offer. Sometimes when we get bullied by the defenders during the attack, we need a magic trick that will save us. And there is actually one very simple but very underrated mechanic that will bring solution to this. The ball roll. You can roll the ball to shield it away from the defender, change its direction to a complete different side, get a better passing or shooting angle or even control a loose ball after running too much. One skill move to rule them all. All you have to do is to push the right analog stick either towards the left or right of your player without sprinting. Timing is very important with the ball roll. If you do it too late as the defender is directly near you, you might lose the ball. Try to execute it once you get the feeling that he will initiate a defensive move. Let's see a couple examples. I see that the defender is approaching for a tackle and I want to dodge him. He will try to make his move towards the side I am currently facing, so I surprise him with a ball roll towards his initial side and dodge his tackle. In the next one, I get the ball in the open, go for a 1 versus 1 against the keeper, however, he is coming out to reduce my shooting angle. With a simple ball roll towards the right, I get a better finesse angle and finish the position with a goal. So, don't underestimate the power of the ball roll and implement it into your gameplay. Coming to our last point now, be really careful with this. When you receive the ball in the opposition half, especially right in front of the box, there will be a big defensive barricade. So if you try to turn around and commit towards one direction, you will most likely toss into a wall like this. That is why you need a simple trick. After watching this, you are going to be able to beat defenders by using fake turns and I really dare you. You are only allowed to use the left analog stick. But how does this work? For this, you need to be really quick. You need to give your player a movement in a certain direction, first with your left analog stick, making the opponent believe that you will continue there, but then right after the first step, you immediately change the direction towards another side. This will fool your opponent towards the initial side, but then you will dodge him. In this quick example, I received the ball with Kimmich, 
Knowing that my opponent will confront me, I bait him towards my back first and then quickly turn the direction towards the upper side with a quick reaction and then the defender is gone. This method is deadly when you use it in or around the box. Just as you are dribbling the ball into one direction, taking a half step towards the back by pushing the left analog stick briefly backwards and then again moving it towards your front side can easily trick the opponent. You just have to be really fast and get the animation done and trust me, this will fool the opponents like no other skill move does. And finally, I really enjoy creating shooting chances with this method. As I'm receiving the ball inside the box, I give the opponent the idea that I will sharply turn towards the back but then again, we see the hand quickness. After giving the first input, I immediately change direction towards the opposite side, get the animation done and see that the opponent takes the bait. Now I am one on one with the keeper and I score the goal. Piece of cake. That's it. These three quick tips will give you instant results and you will feel the change in short time. Let me know if they work out for you in the comment section below. If you are more interested in more mistakes in the offense and how to fix them, watch our latest video about it, which also appears on your screen right now and bring your offense onto another level. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next one, take care and peace.